All right, guys. So you got yourself a mirrorless camera or a video camera, something that looks nice, right? A professional camera and you want to use it on a zoom call so you can look more professional look good instead of using normal webcams so in today's video i'm gonna show you exactly how to do that so basically how to use a video camera dslr camera or a mirrorless camera whatever you call it it's probably gonna be something that looks like this or any other type of camera that's made for recording videos of course the main thing that that camera has to have is it has to have a HDMI output or an HDMI connection output. So we're gonna be able to use a beautiful image for that camera for your Zoom calls so people can take you more serious and professional. So it's not taking much time, it's getting to it. What's going on guys? My name is Sammy watching the production tips and tools helping you master live streaming and for today, Zoom calls. So the first thing you need guys, obviously you're gonna need an actual camera. We just talked about it and the camera has to have some sort of hdmi out so now uh, the camera that i'm using is the uh, sony zv e10 okay the sony zv e10 that's the camera that i'm using however you may be using a different camera in fact i have another camera here this is the panasonic gh5 and i have this one right here is my panasonic gx85 so it doesn't matter whatever camera you have it's gonna work so some of the accessories that you're gonna need before we get to the zoom application obviously it's gonna be an hdmi cable so now i have this hdmi cable right here this is a little i would say this is a fancy one okay you can get any hdmi camera from amazon this is just a special one that i got for myself again also make it as long as you need okay so if your camera is gonna be five feet from you you want to make sure you put it maybe five feet could be too much but do something like yeah five six feet three three feet maybe three feet may be too short because you need to you want to make sure the hmi cable can come from the camera and reach to your computer if you're using a laptop probably three feet may be enough okay because it's basically the distance from where you're gonna place your camera and back to any USB port on your computer. The second thing that you're gonna need, obviously, is what we call a capture card. This is a capture card, something really, really simple. So basically what a capture card does is it connects your HDMI cable to the computer because you cannot connect an HDMI cable directly into your computer. So this is what it's gonna look like, basically, your HDMI cable is going to connect into your capture card. And then this part of capture card, which is a USB part, is going to connect into your either your laptop or your computer. So any USB port on your computer should be able to take this. Now, the other part of the HDMI cable is going to connect in, into the camera. Now, because my camera is the Sony ZV E10, some cameras don't have what we call a full size hdmi port so if i try to connect it it's not gonna fit as you can see the port is really really small okay so what i need to do i need to get a little adapter this is specifically for this camera if i was using a different camera in fact let me show you on my gh5 my gh5 has a full size hdmi port which means if i connect my gh5 i won't need to use an adapter i can connect directly into it and as you can see it's gonna work all right but because my sony zv e10 has what we call micro hdmi i'm gonna have to buy an adapter which is called micro to full size hdmi if you have a micro hdmi camera let me know i'm gonna link down below this little adapter so basically connect your hdmi cable into the macro kind of hdmi adapter right and then this end right here, the micro HDMI port, this is what we're gonna connect into the Sony ZV E10. So there's a little port that says HDMI, that's where you're gonna connect it, boom, just like so. So now our camera is ready to be connected, okay? Now, the next thing that you're gonna need, obviously, depending on how you wanna do it, you're gonna need some sort of mounting. There's so many mounting options. It could be a tripod, it could be a monopod, it could be a light stand. It could be something that you can actually clamp on your desk, like the one that I have from Ulanzi. Again, I can link it down below if you are interested. I can give you some options, guys. But the idea is to be able to mount something behind your monitor. If you're using a laptop, maybe you may need something different. But for me, this is what I got, guys. It's mainly something that I can use to mount 
on my desk and I can actually put the camera on the top of it. So if, if I can show you a little quick what it will look like. So I can just mount like this. All right. So now I can actually put this thing behind the desk and it's going to be facing. So let's go ahead and do it. And I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. And we're going to open the zoom application and show you how to add the whole thing. Now my setup looks a little different guys. This is a content creation setup. Uh, yours may probably look like something like that, which should maybe just one monitor and just one computer, but I'm going to show you on this setup, of course, what it will look like. So the idea is to mount this on our desk. So now that I have the mounting little device already behind my desk, guys, the next thing is really to just make sure, of course, you want to make sure your camera is, you turn around and everything. Okay. And then you place it there on the top of it. Now, the one that I have comes with this little quick release plate from Ulanzi as well. So I can simply go ahead and place it on the top there and then boom. All right. And then what you need to do is just go ahead and turn on the camera. It's going to turn on. And once it's on, you're going to take this USB part of the capture card again. And then we're going to connect that to my computer on the back. Let's turn the camera on. So guys, right now the camera is on and it's connected to my computer, everything. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and open the Zoom application and see if we can find the camera. So the Zoom application is open and we're going to go ahead and create a new meeting as if we were going to do a meeting. And then what you need to do, guys, obviously, another thing you have to pay attention to, if you have a microphone like this one, depending on the type of microphone, if you have a microphone like this one, that's what we're going to be using. If you have a microphone that's connected to your camera, maybe a wireless microphone, anything, it's going to show up in your Zoom meeting application. And we're going to be able to choose a microphone and everything. Okay. So once you get here, the first thing Zoom is going to ask you to choose first your microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a microphone. Right now I have the Broadcaster Duo. That's the interface that I'm using. So that's what I'm going to choose. Assuming you have a different microphone. But for us, the key thing that we need guys to actually go ahead and choose is going to be our camera. So I'm going to go here and then I'm going to choose my camera, which is going to be because I use a capture card. It's in the capture card that I use is called USB video. It's going to show up as a USB video. OK, and you can also go ahead and actually click to that the video icon and make sure it's actually turned on. OK, and then as you can see, we have a picture coming from the camera. So if I do this. As you can see, the camera is looking good. It's better than any webcam. And then I can click start and boom. Now, when people join Zoom, they're going to be able to see me with a really good looking image uh, for my Zoom calls. You can see because my camera can give you what we call a blurry background. You can see that my background is kind of blurry, which is really, really awesome. And I'm looking really good compared to using something like a built in webcam. So guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure I leave all the accessories that I think you may need. But if you have a specific accessory that you need to actually make sure your setup works well, let me know down below in the comment section. But other than that, guys, this is just for doing Zoom calls. If you're interested in live streaming, let's say you want to take this image that looks really good and you want to live stream it to youtube or facebook right you can actually do that by using a different application zoom does live stream but live streaming from zoom is not perfect the best software to do that is actually called obs which is 100 free and in my next video that i'm gonna link right here i'm gonna show you how to live stream using a dslr camera and a free software called obs and be able to go live to youtube and that video is gonna be linked right here so make sure you check it out guys and I will see you there. Take care.